Hi everyone and welcome back to my studio and welcome to mermaid vlog number three. It's already the third week, can you believe guys? So yeah, this week is going to be super chill now that I have most of the Patreon rewards done and ordered. Um, I do have a cool idea that I'm going to show you in a second. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I'm going to take this week very relaxed and very chill. Um, I'm just going to have some fun with you guys and do some art. So let's get into it. So this is what the Patreon rewards look like right now. I kind of, um, I took the preview from sticker app and I kind of made this thingy, this preview of the rewards to then show to my patrons. But now that I'm looking at this, I feel like it's not enough. <laughs> I always add way too much to my rewards, but I kind of, I feel like there could be one more thing to make it complete or yeah one more thing because it's just stickers in a print now and I want to make something else and that would make this more interesting so I'm thinking about maybe adding a small sticker sheet well I uh, am um, half the size of what I would usually do and maybe do the magic magic wand um, by rose um, of the Sailor Soldiers or the Magic Wands, like this one, as kind of like a planner sticker, something like that maybe. And then give them also this kind of windows aesthetic. And yeah, just make planner stickers as well, just to make these more interesting. I feel like, yeah, these are already cool, but I want more. Um, I think I'm going to start sketching some ideas for the possible sticker sticker sheet. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. You can see some sketches I made for the smaller planner sticker sheet. And I do kind of want to stay in the whole Windows aesthetic and Sailor Moon theme. Um, but yeah, I wanted just to make simpler stickers to use in a planner and to not steal the show of the bigger ones. But I was kind of thinking of doing maybe the Sailor Moon redraw, this one, but with Mila maybe, and then adding a few Sailor Moon wands or maybe her paw holding the wand or something like that. So give the Sailor Moon wands kind of like a Mila twist. So I did some sketches about that and now I'm going to um, actually draw them in Photoshop. And I also just finished and posted the drawing hands tutorial and just made a quick thumbnail for that. Um, yeah, it's just me explaining how I draw hands and some tips or things that have helped me and that I always keep in mind when drawing them. And yeah, if that's something you struggle with, maybe check out that video. It's up on my Patreon um, for the $5 and up tiers. And also, um, I just ordered a big Yankee candle and soft blanket is my absolute favorite scent. And now I have it on my desk and I'm going to light it in a second. And I'm going to work on the planner stickers now. I spent all day yesterday drawing these in Photoshop and yeah, finishing them. So we have Mila Moon and the Sailor Moon redraw and then some other stickers that I think would be great as planner stickers. So they are all kind of Mila and Sailor Moon themed. So I changed, for example, changed up the wand to be cat shaped and also added Mila's paw to this wand. Yeah, to just make it more cute and interesting. And also so it would be Mila themed, so it's more personal. And I also just added a pink cloudy background. And now the first thing I'm going to do is try how they look and cut them and just yeah look at them and see how it works and um, if they are fun stickers to use I quickly set up the planner for next week just so I could try these. This is what they look like cut. And here you can nicely see how I made this 
white border so even if it would cut slightly off it would still not have any of the background showing so now i think i'm going to try and use them and see how they look <laughs> i think they do work really well as planar stickers i'm really pleased with them yeah, you could fill all kinds of spaces with them, which I think is nice. So we have room pretty small ones and then also big ones because I really like to do something big down here and then just sprinkle in some other stuff throughout the month. So yeah, I'm really pleased with these and I had a lot of fun drawing them as well, especially um, this one, obviously. I already announced and posted them on my Patreon yesterday. And I think the parcel is pretty much complete now. Um, I know it's insane how many things I add to the parcels, but I really want them to be very special and exciting. So um, I think what I'm going to do today is just do a few of these, and then I'm going to make a mock-up of what all the parcels look like, so I can promote them on my Instagram and everywhere else. So um, we can fill the few spots that we have left. Because, um, yeah, every month I've been slowly but surely making the amounts of patrons that I can have higher. For example, last month 50 would be the limit. And this month we are able to be 75. So, um, yeah, I'm going to promote that. And, yeah, we would, would love if some more people would join. Because I think this parcel is really special and really exciting. So today is Friday and today's prompt is Mimosa and ever since Mermaid started I really wanted to do a ramen mermaid and I think I'm just going to do that today but I think I or um, something else I really wanted to do is do something in watercolor so I think I'm actually going to do a watercolor mermaid for today and just do some traditional art because I've been really missing it and um, yeah I think what I'm going to be doing next is doing some sketches digitally so I can print them out but I also want to maybe follow the watercolor painting class by Cosmic Spectrum that she has here on YouTube because I've been wanting to do that for ages so I'm going to take you along with me so we can do some yeah painting. I always keep my sticker sheets when I make them over here and I stack them kind of like this. Um, I always group 10 of them and kind of, yeah, you, you see. Um, so it's easier to count them and keep track of how many I have. So I think I have 60 right now and I'm really pleased with how they look and how they have turned out and I can't wait to yeah, send them out. And something else I've been thinking about, um, I keep a lot of old rewards over here as well and I'm thinking of selling the few that I have of each in my shop once I can open my shop again. By the way, if you have a name for the doll, we still don't have a name for her and she's just sitting there. So if you have one in mind, then please let me know what you would call her. So I keep all my prints and sheets and stuff in here. It's kind of difficult to film with one hand. Um, but yeah, I still have a bunch of the old postcard prints in here. For example, this one. Or then I also have one of these. And a bunch of the Sailor Moon New Year's one. And a bunch of the sticker sheets that are still left over. Well, not a bunch, but a few of them. So you kind of see there are like 10 of each or something. And I also um, restocked the Huvember sheets. I ordered them from Zell Creatives and they, they did take quite a bit to arrive because of the whole COVID thing happening. But yeah, they look just like they did last time and I just reordered the exact same design. So these are going to be restocked as well. But yeah, I'm thinking of also restocking my old rewards. So a few of the stickers maybe if I have them left over just like the Pocahontas one that I have in my store right now. And um, I'm thinking of maybe doing a discount code for my patrons 
to um, maybe yeah, like 50% or something to make it more um, accessible for them in case they want to get a reward again that they, that they have in the past, but then also to be able to sell them to other people. Obviously, they're not going to be quite as many since they are only leftovers of what I um, gave my patrons in the past. So um, possibly only, <laughs> possibly only like four or five stickers each, but it would be great to also yeah, give them to someone and get rid of those. So I think I'm going to do that once I can open my shop again. And as I said, give my patrons a 50% code, the parcel patrons, the 50% code so they can get all rewards that they maybe haven't gotten in the past or can repurchase rewards that I um, sent out a few parcels ago. You know what I mean. <laughs> I just came back from showering and this is what I find. She's so cute. Um, so, but what I wanted to do, I wanted to see if I have all the supplies that I need. So I have this kind of traditional supply basket. Um, I keep all, all types of pens in here that I would not typically use. And also have my watercolor paper and everything. And the worst markers ever, obviously, because I can throw things away and some random stuff. Oh, good to know where all my scissors went. Hey Mila! She loves these. Um, if she could, she would sleep in these all day. <laughs> um, I do have all my watercolors in here. So, I have some pretty old watercolor sets from my great-grandfather that I got from him and I keep them since they are still working. Um, but what I was looking for is um, this ink and then also these PH Martin concentrated watercolors. I bought these, ooh, um, I bought these 10 years ago or something. Yeah, 10 years. So these are pretty old, um, but I'm sure they still work. And I'm going to use them for the tutorial. So first things first, before I go in with anything digital, I'm going to first do some rough sketches on paper because I do feel like sketching on paper is best to do thumbnails or it's more com most comfortable for me. I have all my references over here in VisRef on my iPad and not drawing on the iPad actually is really nice because now I can use the whole screen and not just a small part of it. Um, yeah, but now I can use these to sketch something out. I kind of want to draw the bowl like this, then with the mermaid submerged in water. So her filling out the bowl, almost. So kind of like, kind of like this maybe. So she's in the bowl, sleeping or whatever. And then we have stuff around her, like eggs, for example, and mushrooms and green stuff. Kind of like this so this is my first idea that i kind of have and um i think it would be also cool to add some chopsticks as well yeah to kind of yeah you know spice up the whole silhouette of everything so this is my first idea that i have and then um i also thought it would be cool to do something similar so her being submerged but then her hair being kind of dragged up by some chopsticks so kind of like this so she's still sleeping but someone is starting to eat her hair 
um yeah i don't know maybe something like that but then i also so you also get to see some of the bowl and i also have kind of like an idea in mind where we see the bowl from the side and she's kind of leaning here and we have some steam coming up and her tail is coming out on the other side i do when I think about what I want to draw most, because yeah, of fun's sake, I think it's this one. Maybe also this one. Maybe I can combine these two in some way. So these are kind of similar. This one is more fun and interactive since she is looking at the viewer. And this one is more, um, it's, it's less interactive since you can't, she's not looking at you, she is closing her eyes. So what I want for her is having closed eyes and her face being submerged in the broth. So kind of like this. And her noodle hair going around her. I have to see what it looks like when I sketch it digitally. Digitally. <laughs> digitally. Um, but I'm glad I made these and kind of thought about it more before I go right into it. And um, I'm going to try and go for this kind of composition. Maybe I'm thinking of adding a spoon as well, but I have to see how it looks and how it looks in the, or what it looks like in the whole composition. So this is my sketch and I really like how she looks and I'm glad that I went with the open eyes. I think that really helps to make it more captivating. And I've printed it out onto random printer paper to trace it over. And this should be the right size for the big paper. But now I'm also going to make one where the lines are dark, so it's much easier to trace them. And I'm just going to print this again, so yeah, I can see the lines better. But yeah, I'm really excited to continue and yeah, make something traditional again. Mila, oh no, stop. I have no words. No, not. Can can I get my paper back? Oh my god! I don't think I can use this. Mila, can you? Why? Well, you can see where she. Oh my god. I think I'm going to print this again. Um, just for good measure. Here you can have this. It's yours now. Oh my god. So, Mila's watching. My paper is taped down. Um, I have this big light table that I haven't used in forever. Um, I'm watching a Joyce and blog. And this is the paper I'm using, by the way, if anyone is curious. It's just the cheapest watercolor paper they had at the store when I was looking. So I didn't really buy this specific one, but it works really well. I really like this one and I would purchase it again, definitely. Um, yeah, it's, you can kind of see this cold pressy paper. Um, it has a lot of texture, but then also doesn't have too much texture. So um, you still can line very easily. Oh, Mila, no. And now I'm going to start laying down the sketch with a pink pencil. I have to be working compared to when I was going to work. I had my history. I have the 
red lines done now and this is the pencil I ended up using. I have a bunch of these polychromos ones and this is the Pompeian red. Um, it doesn't really matter, I would use anything that is roughly this color, so reds, pinks, browns. Um, I have a bunch of them and I'm just using them up slowly but surely. Um, I just went, wait a sec, so I just went into the attic to get my old um, pen nibs and if you watch the vlogs you know we cycle through cat stuff so i brought back this guy right here and mila just went inside so i have high hopes that she likes the um cave thingy that she likes this again and um, she used it in the beginning all the time but then lost interest and now i brought it back and yeah, hopefully she will use this again. So I'm going to test the technique on just um, a test paper that I'm going to use. And I found this nib that hopefully will work. All of the supplies, the ink and everything are from my wannabe mangaka days. So really, really old. The first one was pretty green and it was yeah straight from the ink thingy and it was um, umbra or umber and then I mixed in some of this which is burnt sienna and yeah just mix, mix them together in here and now I have this kind of color which is a darker sienna and I really like how this looked or how this looks. So I actually ended up changing to a G nib. It was kind of dirty, but it does work a lot better. So most of the struggle that I had just came from the type of nib I was using. And now that I'm using the G nib, I don't have any struggle anymore whatsoever. With this guy, you can get a lot of line variation, just like I remember. And it's actually a lot of fun drawing with it and yeah, it's very therapeutic to just do the lines and um, I'm not really rushing myself with this even though it's technically today's mermaid illustration since I'm not going to be able to finish it anyway. I'm not rushing at all. I'm just taking my time and just slowly lining this and I also just ordered a printer so um, it should be arriving at the beginning of next week, so um, you're going to see that in the next vlog. But yeah, the, pr the printer that I have is amazing for everything that I do, but the built-in scanner just isn't made to scan in photographs or illustrations. So I decided to buy one that would be working better with watercolor illustration so yeah I bought that and then I'm going to scan the illustration in once it's finished once the printer arrives and I'm yeah just really excited um I've had a lot more fun than I thought with this and um, I didn't only buy the printer so I could scan this particular illustration in but because I want to make more watercolor stuff and really want to yeah, invest in a scanner so I can make more stuff and then scan it in and maybe make prints then of the illustrations. So yeah, I'm excited and I'm glad I tried it out today and started this again. I used to do only traditional art in the beginning and I would mostly do Copics, but I did a lot, a lot of watercolor illustrations and I had the greatest time doing them. So I'm really happy to revisit that and go back to my roots and yeah, do some more traditional art. I'm going to keep you updated on how this is progressing. I probably finish this, the lines today and then maybe do the watercolor tomorrow morning and then take a picture tomorrow and post it tomorrow. So yeah, that's the plan. Hopefully it works. I'm excited um, to follow Cosmic Spectrum's steps. So yeah, as I said, I would typically start with the watercolors and then line on top with like um, a fine liner or something. But just working with the nib and working with this technique is 
yeah just yeah very feels very fresh and new and fun so yeah i'm excited it's saturday now it's the next morning and this is what the illustration looks like and i brought out my colored pencils yes i'm this person um and now i'm going to add additional shading and additional texture to the illustration i did add some blush yesterday but i want to um yeah it's still i think it's not quite finished yet i really want to add some more to it but i am pretty happy with how far i've gotten and yeah i'm going to show you what that looks like once it's done um so i added some just a, a bit of texture with the colored pencils oh there's a lash um so for example here over at these pieces and um on the egg yolk and stuff and then i went in with slightly darker ink on the outlines and just added some more contrast especially in the eyes i really wanted to add the contrast in the eyelashes and especially the eye that is visible i'm not sure if i'm going to add a pupil to the eye that is in the broth i have to still think about that but then i also darkened some sesame sesame ses, sesame you know um these guys and um yeah then i went in with um the white the white gel pen and that really helped tie everything together so yeah this is what it looks like and i think i'm done and um, now i'm just going to take a really good picture and um do some adjustments in photoshop maybe um until i get the scanner so on mon oh my god oh. so on mon monday um is this comfy she's been really feisty today really feisty so i'm not tempting her um yeah, until I get the new scanner, I have to just use my camera, but it does work really well. So you can just take a picture and then straighten everything and do some adjusting in Photoshop and it kind of looks like a scan. So I'm going to do that for my Instagram post for today because I'm going to post this today. And yeah, this has been really fun and I can't wait to do more stuff with watercolors. And I agree the whole doing an ink wash to do the shadows has really helped me give this more depth. Something I've struggled with when doing watercolors has always been that it has looked too one-dimensional and using the ink wash in advance really has helped me focus more on the values. So I really like this technique and I'm definitely going to use it in the future as well. And also it does really nicely tie together the whole piece. So um, everything has this subtle brownish color which was especially good for um this one right here since it is such a warm illustration so yeah um i'm glad i filmed this and share and could share it with you guys and took you along and yeah let me know what you think so here i have the photo that i took this is not scanned in this is just the photo i took and i um, just took it in a way that there wouldn't be any edges visible but obviously you could just crop it afterwards and this is what it looks like it is pretty high res and i think it's sufficient for posting this um i'm still waiting on the scanner obviously but it should be should be enough for now and um first thing i'm going to try and do is determine the white point so i just used the white color picker and just put it here and now um, this determines the white point so what I did here is make everything that is the paper white now this clearly is white and that has already helped a bunch so I'm also going to do some of the curves and I have to say the colors are pretty accurate a accurate <laughs> accurate um, I'm just going to do what I always do and I'm also going to lower the saturation a bit because I feel like it's a little over the top yeah I'm just doing minor adjustments here just to improve the quality of the image and to make it look more like a scan rather than just a photo 
And I'm also going to open one of the square images that I'm going to post later on. And I just did the same thing, adjusted the white point and now this is immediately lighter and looks more professional. And I'm also going to do some color correcting. And I think that's it. I'm not really going to do much else, I think, because this already looks pretty nice. Um, I don't feel like I need to do any retouching. Um, I don't see any hairs or anything on the canvas. So yeah, I'm going to keep it pretty much the way it is right now. So I was just working on the pistachio, pistachio, pistachio green mermaid that is going to be Billie Eilish inspired. And um, I did order a Switch a few days ago to play Animal Crossing. And I thought that was that parcel that just arrived. But it's actually um, the XP Pen graphic tablet that they wanted to send me. Um, we talked, we actually talked quite some time ago. So I thought they changed their mind, but it actually arrived and I'm excited. And I think I'm going to film the video for that tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see um, how this works and if it's um, a good tablet. So this is the one I'm using. It's the first one I ever got. Um, it's the Welcome into a Straw and it's the one I'm still using. You can kind of see, yeah, you can see how much I use this. This is just my favorite thing ever. It works really well and is still holding up after years of using it. And this is comparable from looking at the price tag. So I'm excited to see if this also compares quality wise. And um, yeah, I'm excited to film the unboxing and review. Hi, this is Editing Sonja. And yeah, well, you can kind of see soft blanket is still burning in the background and Mila sleeping on the couch and getting up because I'm talking. Yeah, thank you so much for watching my vlog. And for watching all my mermaid vlogs, they've been really fun to film. I really like the weekly vlog format. And when mermaid ends, I want to maybe do weekly vlogs and then also another topic video that week if I can. And I also um, am hunting down a webcam I ordered. And if that arrives, then I'm also going to try to do streams here on YouTube. So that's also really exciting, um, but yeah. I need to finish editing this and go to bed. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you very soon in my next video. Bye.